Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm excited to show you all the different types of scrolling in Figma and how to create them. And it's really nice because once you understand how to create these three different types, you can kind of combine them and create your own really unique layouts for your web and mobile designs. So let's get right into these. First, just as a little precursor, I wanna show you really how scrolling works in Figma. And it has a lot to do with the height of your frame and what you tell it to do with the overflow content. So I'm gonna show you what I mean with this simple example. We just have this sort of you know flat frame here. None of these have their own scrolling properties or anything. We just have this design. And you might think, oh, this will scroll because it's obviously longer than the height of a normal web page. But that's not really the case. You actually have to give it a height and tell it what to do with the overflow content. So. I'll show you what I mean. We're gonna go and play this prototype. And if I go and do fit to screen, you can see there's no automatic scrolling that happens because this frame is actually this high. So what we're gonna do is change the height of the frame. So I'm just going to kind of grab this and we'll make it, you know, whatever, 800 some pixels just for the sake of this example. And so now I'm gonna go into prototype mode and by default, it's going to set your overflow scroll behavior to vertical, and that is what we want for this. So I'm gonna go and show you how this is now different. So now this scrolls like you would normally want. So that's how the basics of scrolling work, but we can take these sort of properties and really go a long way with them. Okay, so now what if we want for all of this to remain fixed? but the products themselves to scroll through. So I'm just going to copy these over. Um, I'll hit auto layout and align them vertically. We'll hug the contents horizontally and we really don't need this much space between them. Let's just do 24 pixels of space. So we'll call this frame products. And then I wanna nest it inside our main frame. So I'm just dragging it inside and you can see it outlines in blue when we're about to drop it inside. So that's great. And now what we need to do is set this whole frame to no scrolling. So that's great. And now we're gonna select on the nested frame. And instead of no scrolling, we're going to do vertical. And it's gonna give us this exclamation point because it says for scrolling to work, the content needs to be bigger than the frame. So that's what we learned in the last example. So. We're just going to decrease the height of this frame. And in Figma, you can see more easily what you're actually doing if you hit clip content. So we want to see all of this so that we can make changes and things like that. But if you want to see what's actually going to be in frame and in view, you can always turn on clip content. And you can turn that on for specific frames too. You don't just have to do it on the main frame. We can do it just for this nested frame as well. That's just a tip to sort of be able to get the lay of the land and see what you're working with. All right, now let's see how this looks. So we'll do fit to screen. And then if I try to scroll over here, it doesn't scroll. This is just fixed. But here we can see that these elements are scrolling. So there's a couple little nitpicky things that I wanna fix. I don't like how it scrolls over top of this nav. So we're just gonna reorder our layers here. I also don't like that it just cuts off at the very bottom. I wanna have like a little bit of space at the bottom. I think that'll just make it feel more finished. So what I'm gonna do is go in, I'm gonna select on this nav and just hit right bracket. And that on the layers panel is gonna bring it all the way to the top. And then what I'm going to do to give us that little bit of padding on the bottom is I'm actually going to frame all of these cards together again inside the frame that already exists. So I'm gonna do frame selection. We'll call this one um, grouping, doesn't really matter. And for the grouping of these cards, I'm gonna turn on auto layout and I'm actually going to give it a bottom padding of let's just say 60 pixels. So then let's see how that looks. Fit to screen. Okay, so I'll start here. You can see now these layers are a little bit better. I like that. 
And you can see that it just looks more intentional to have this padding here. So I think that that's perfect. Okay, awesome. So now what if we wanna do something similar, but we want these to scroll horizontally? So I'm just going to copy this frame over here. So we still have products with grouping inside and inside grouping are these cards. So I'm just going to grab the grouping layer and we're going to redo this so it's a horizontal layout instead. So that's looking good. And then I can reposition this frame here. And then if I go into the products frame, I can reposition the framing. We'll just again, drag it right in to our frame. See how much we want this to overlap. I think something like that could be good. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to just decrease the width of our frame so that it matches up with the main frame. And if we do clip content, you can see exactly what's happening there. And then I'm gonna go into grouping and I'm gonna do the same exact thing. Instead of the bottom padding, we won't need that. I'm gonna give us right side padding of 60 pixels. And then I'm going to take all of these and instead of scrolling vertically, we're gonna want these to scroll horizontally. So now see how it looks. There we go. That looks really nice. Okay, now last thing, Let's say we don't wanna cover up the text here. Here, we'll grab this same vertical layout again. Let's say that we don't want these to go all the way to the top. Let's say we want them to stick about here. Um, and we still want these products to scroll. We still wanna be able to see all of them, but we want them to sort of stack on top of each other instead of you know going off the page and covering this text. So once I get this in place, just going to, again, reposition this frame, sort of these constraints here. And what I'm going to do is instead of just giving this an overflow of vertical, I'm also going to go in and select the individual cards. So you can see I'm doing this on the canvas. You can also do this here in the layers panel. I'm just going to select the individual cards. Instead of scroll with parent, I'm gonna change this to sticky. And this says stop at the top edge. That's exactly what we want there. So sticky, stop at top edge. Let's see how this looks. I'm scrolling around here. This does not scroll, this is fixed. But here, as I scroll, these stack on top of each other. Now we're running into a similar problem. This is all perfect except for this last one. Number five won't fully cover number four, and it's because we don't have enough padding on the bottom. So it doesn't have anything else to scroll. So what we need to do is add more padding. And to figure out exactly how much, we basically just need to figure out how far the bottom of this card is from the bottom of the main frame. So I've selected on this card, I'm hitting option, and I'm just hovering over the bottom of this frame here. And we can see there's 246 pixels between. So that's how much padding we're gonna need. So I'm gonna click on grouping, the grouping frame, and I'm gonna do 246, oops, instead of just 60. So now let's see how that works. All right, start from here, scrolling. And there we go, that's perfect. Now they perfectly sort of overlap with each other and that's exactly how we wanted it to behave. I hope this helped you understand all of the different scrolling options that you can create in Figma and hopefully you'll be able to use these to create some really unique layouts and interactions for your own web design projects. Make sure to check out our full Figma course for web designers linked in the description box below and I will see you guys in a future video. Bye!